it's Pelier from Editing Visuals and in today's video I will be showing you guys how to make the colorful roto brush effect in After Effects. And before the video starts I just wanted to let you guys know that we recently launched a new editing pack called the Damaged TV Pack which is insanely cool in my opinion and has a super cool look and if you guys want to check it out maybe buy it you can use our discount code POVICAS to get five dollars off let's get right into the tutorial here so the first thing we're going to start off by doing is basically to roll to brush our clip here and if you don't know how to roll to brush i've made a tutorial on it which will be linked in the description so you guys can go and check it out after you have roll to brushed your clip should look something like this here and you're basically going to duplicate this layer by pressing ctrl d and you're going to go down to the bottom layer and delete the rotor brush effect so now we will get the background back and now we're going to start off by adding effects to the rotor brush layer and the first effect we're going to be adding is called edge detect it's a sapphire plugin and, and it's going to look something like this and if you don't have the sapphire plugin you can use find edges effect instead which already comes along with the normal after effects program but i think the sapphire version has a little bit more settings and allows you to do a little bit more cooler effects with it basically and yeah we're going to start off by changing the effect on the edge detect here to mono edges and after that i'm going to drag down the edge move to zero so it's going to look something like that and that should be good for the moment after that i'm going to be adding an effect called colorama and here we're actually going to use the default output cycle here and the only thing we're going to basically animate is in the input phase here we're going to be animating the phase shift here so you're going to be holding alt press the clock here and here you're going to be typing time star key 500 so now it's basically going to change the colors very fast and if you think it's too fast or too slow you can adjust by changing the number here instead of 500 you can go with 200 or 800 or whatever you want to do but yeah that's the setting i'm going to go with next up we're going to be adding the effect deep glow and here we're going to change the radius to 750 and then we're actually going to increase the exposure to 1.25 so it's very bright now after that you're going to press on Molt. And this looks pretty pretty bright right now. So we're going to change the blending mode to overlay instead. And this is how it's going to look. Pretty cool color effect so far. After that we're going to be pre-composing these two layers here. Mark them. Pre-compose. And here as you guys can see we have these weird uh, pixel glows here. So to get rid of that we're going to be adding an effect called Detail Preserving Upscale. It's going to look something like this. And we're going to increase the reduce noise to 100%. And then we're going to increase the detail to 100% as well. The difference here is pretty big. And just to get rid of that tiny thing left, we're going to be duplicating this. So control D. Now it's basically gone. And you might not want to add like too much of this detail preserving upscale. I mean, it works good to get rid of that weird... Uh, pixel glow as i showed you guys before but but it tends to make the whole clip a little bit more cartoony ish don't add too much detail preserving upscale uh, and to hide that like cartoony uh, look to the clip we're going to be adding a adjustment layer so control alt y and here we're going to be adding noise and drag it up to 15 percent uncheck use color noise and also we're going to be adding a big net and here drag it the angle of view down something like this so now the cartoony look doesn't pop that much with when we cover it with noise and the uh, big net here it looks a little bit better but i think this overall is a pretty cool effect to add to your clip to uh, make it a little bit more unique if you guys enjoyed this tutorial and you really want to step up your editing check out editingvisuals.com where we have editing packs that's really gonna take your editing to the next level if you like this tutorial guys don't forget to like and subscribe and share the video don't forget to check out our socials join our discord server and i will see you guys soon Take care and have a nice day.